Hi there, Scuffle My Six Blades. I've done a little bit of a favour for uh, Joe. He's gone bought himself a Prezi. So we got the Latin machete from Cold Steel. I think he's got the little one. Uh, just the usual edge from Mr. Thompson. Utility, he calls it. Needs work, is what we say. So um, I'll dress this up a little bit. The only problem, obviously, is you lose the the black coat in. But I'll leave it in oil anyway. So I'll get grinding, see if I can improve this edge somewhat. See you in a bit. For those who um, are sort of new to grinding, what I'm doing is, is I'm finding the angle of where that edge is. So I've got the flat of the blade goes along, and then as the edge comes on, I'm actually matching that to the angle that I'm addressing it to the belt sander. So that would be flat. That is catching the same angle of what that is against there. And with the lightest touch, because I don't want to eat it too much, I'm taking as much off that side up to where the, the blade edge stops and back out and then the other side because what will happen is, is you're making the edge each time you grind it you're pushing it that way and you only want to feed it back you're pushing it that way and feed it back so I don't want to do four goes on this side and then try and do four goes on that side because you just don't know how far you've gone either way so you do one one way one another especially on a really thin bit of steel like this but as you can see you should be able to catch the light I'm getting there. Okay, see you in a bit. Again, uh, what I'm finding is got this a real agriculturally ground edge, and even though I've been on there loads of times, I still got a spot just there. I haven't took the coating off, but you can see there's a big black spot there. Um, I'm not going to go any more on that because I'll lose too much surface. So I'll go onto the stone and get a really nice honed edge on it. I won't bother strop on it because it's a, it's a machine. So good with the stone now. See you in a bit. Right.
Well, basically what I'm trying to do is, is if I'm trying to sort of scrape the blade across the stone. I think I'm pretty even. I say you never ever check the sharpness of the blade by doing that. That's how you check the sharpness of the blade. And you always have that rough burr, which you've got to be suspicious that you think it's sharp and actually you're feeling the burr. So with experience you'll know whether you've got a good edge or not. When you get rid of that burr using the lever sort of belt. Again, I'm catching the same angle on the stone as it was on the belt sander. So I'm just dressing that it, literally if I was sort of rain mirrors with this wood law, that will be flat. That's the angle that I'm trying to mimic r pushing it up and down on the stone. So if I want to really murder sharp bit here for detail work, one, two, three, four, and then back. One two, three, four, and then singles. Something like that. Four one way, four another, and then singles. So you don't end up rolling the edge more one way than the other. That feels the same all up, and that should be razor sharp in the middle. Do some cutting tests. In a bit.